Shalom, y'all, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharala. Call Haloyim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Haraka, Kodash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwath that's keeping the faith and the works. Y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abiah coming at you with more precepts. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Self-explanatory, man. The wicked have been ruling and the people have been mourning. All right? One main thing that the people mourn about is the so-called judicial system in this place. How it's so biased. Right? How it's so against so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And so for its own people. Especially the wealthy of its own people. Right? You hardly ever see um, wealthy individuals go to prison outside of like a blue-collar crime. But they commit crimes all the time. But they got enough money to not go to jail, man. And this particular video is on that. So I'm going to let this video play and I'll be back. Or the War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. Before we continue, a warning to our audience. In our next segment, we discuss sexual violence. A highly disturbing case here in New York that's drawn international condemnation after a man who pleaded guilty to raping and sexual assaulting four teenage girls will avoid prison after he received an extraordinarily lenient sentence of probation. Chris Belter, who's now 20 years old. So, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 11 and verse 41. <clears throat> For the earth hast thou not judged with truth. All right? These devils don't judge this, this earth and this, this world in truth. Right, like I said, like I said before, man, if, if you are wealthy and so-called uh, white or so-called Caucasian in this place, you can pretty much do whatever it is you want to do. Like this is your world, for real, for real. That American dream crap, that's that's for you, right? It ain't for the rest of society, and they prove it with instances as such. If this man was uh, working at uh, whatever, you know what I mean, restaurant, McDonald's or something like that, and was a so-called black man, man, when I tell you, that boy would have been under the jail. Before any, before any evidence really would have been produced, that boy would have already been deemed as guilty. But watch this judge's reaction when he gives this man a sentence of probation for this level of crime. Received eight years probation and no jail time after he pleaded guilty to attempted first degree sexual abuse, third degree rape, and two counts of second degree sexual abuse. The four teenagers who Belter sexually assaulted at his home were 15 and 16. Belter, who's white and from a prominent family who lives in a wealthy neighborhood near Niagara Falls, the sentence of probation came after Belter had been accused of more serious crimes in the four attacks, but agreed to plead guilty to lesser charges, and a previous judge gave him an interim sentence of two years probation, along with the chance to be sentenced as a youthful offender and avoid registering as a sex offender, but Belter violated the terms of that probation multiple times and was sentenced as an adult. This is Judge Matthew Murphy speaking before he delivered the sentence of probation to Chris Belter last week in Niagara County. I agonized. I, I'm not ashamed to say that I actually prayed over what is the appropriate sentence in this case. Because th there was great pain, there was great harm, there were multiple crimes committed in the case. Judge talking like he know the family. Judge talking like, yeah, hey, that's his Kim focus on. It pains me to have to give you this judgment. I had to pray about 
what time to give you for this judgment. Amen, tell me. <laughs> you prayed to the Most High, and he told you to give this dude probation? Hell nah, man. All right? The earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. They don't pray to our power. They can't. They pray to their God. That God that they trust in that's over that's on their money and things of, of such. That's Hashatan, man. They 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 are the wicked. Alright? They are the wicked. Look, this is the book of Jeremiah. Let me see. Jeremiah chapter five. And verse 26. Now, this is speaking about Yasharala, right? But the Most High said that the curses that's on us is going to go on our enemies, right? So that means everything that we go through, everything that's written for us to go through in the scripts, it's going to leave off of us and go on to our oppressors, right? So with that in mind, this Jeremiah 5, 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait. As he that set a snares, they set a trap. They catch men. All right? As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. Sounds just like these devils, right? All right? He said they lay traps out. Don't they do that with the judicial system, man? Who put the drugs in our neighborhood? Who put crack in our neighborhood? Right? Who made sure that our neighborhood stay on a low level and introduce quick ways to make money that's life-threatening? Right? Whether it be physically losing your life, meaning you're dead, or physically losing your life, meaning you've been thrown away in some dungeon somewhere. All right. It says, for I'm start that over. Jeremiah 5, 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait. As he that set it snares, they set a trap. They catch men. All right? Prison system full of us. It says, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. This judge is speaking about a, a wealthy so-called white boy. That was raping teenagers. Right? Talking to this man like he know him. Like that's his child. Giving this man however many years, I think she said eight years probation. Right? It says, verse 28, they are waxing fat, they shine. Yea, oh yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They overpass the deeds of the wicked. Like I said, if that, if that was a so-called black man, that boy would have been under the jail. No questions asked, man. But he was so torn down in his spirit that he had to go pray for this so-called white boy. That that just so happened to be wealthy. They're probably from the same neighborhood and all that good stuff. All right? It says they overpassed the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause. The cause of the fatherless, yet the yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. In response to the judge's sentencing of Belter to no jail time, to probation, one of the survivors who was in the courtroom told Buffalo News Station WKBW she had to immediately run to the bathroom to throw up. I lost it. I mean, I just, I didn't expect to be as emotional as I was, but I just broke down. Like, I was shaking with anger. I was disgusted at the fact that this was even an option. Proverbs 29, 2. All right? When the wicked bear rule, people mourn. All right? Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Chapter 17. And verse 15. 
says he that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to Yahweh. Right? That just probably a devout Christian. Probably go to church every Sunday. Donate big books to the church. Thinking that he doing the most high pleasure. But in actuality, you are an abomination to the most high. You and all your people, man. Walking around this place like y'all good. Walking around this place like you ain't finna get none of that back, man. Telling us to get over all of the of the atrocities that you've done to, to me and my folk, man. You gotta get that back, right? You have to. All right. Let's go to the book of Habakkuk. Or Habakkuk. All right. Chapter one and verse four it says, "Therefore the law is slacked, and judgment doth never go forth." For the wicked doth come pass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceedeth. All right? Wrong judgment proceedeth. Judgment specifically according to the scripts, all right? Such as that false doctrine Christianity, all right? That false doctrine Islam, all right? And wrong judgment according to this fake ass judicial system. That's really a popularity contest. Right? That's really a, a click based. So called blacks get way more time than their counter counterparts for the exact same crimes. But this place supposed to be equal and just. Well, let me not say equal. This place is supposed to be just. Man, this place ain't nothing but the daughter of Babylon, man. It's a filthy whore. Right? That's all this place is. Yeah, that, yeah, that whore put on them long ass eyelashes. The whore put on the weave. The whore put on the body suits that make her look good. The whole, you know, do special things to her private parts to tighten it up, right? That whore put on the smell good and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, she's still a whore, right? And the most I got a judgment for that whore. And this judgment gonna be righteous, man. They gonna earn this thing. Revelation chapter 17 from the top. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Verse 5, And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Right. Verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Right. That's what you got promised to you. That's your judgment. Right. Ain't no probation for you. You're going to have to feel the fire. Right. Your sentence is death. Thus said Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? So I'm going to end it with that, man. Yahweh Ratazah, meaning Yahweh willing, this, these precepts in this video were edifying. Call Halloyim Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakal Kodash, Shalom Yashallah.